A Plaguelands Media Production. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Hugh from Plaguelands Media. Today I'm not bringing you a playthrough of Final Girl, however I do want to talk about it. I've been playing this game a lot since uh, I received the Kickstarter. And uh, I just wanted to go through the five Season 1 feature films and give you my rankings from my least favourite to my most favorite and uh, the reasons why that is. That is not to say that my least favorite of the feature films is bad in any way, shape or form. All of these are absolutely awesome in my opinion. But um, I'm just going to explain the feature film boxes and why I like or don't really like them as much. So my least favorite, number five, is... Geppetto in the Carnival of Blood. Now you saw me uh, play Geppetto in the Carnival of Blood in my last video. While I do think the map is uh, really interesting, I'm not a huge fan of like the outside part of it. And Geppetto with the <coughs> with the puppets uh, can be a little bit finicky and a little bit tricky. What I do like about the Carnival of Blood, however, is the fact that the there are some spaces like Tiger Cage and things like that that can actively help you to wound uh, or ultimately kill Geppetto. And there's also an event card that turns one of the victims into a werewolf, um, which, funnily enough, was how I died the first time playing uh, at the Carnival of Blood. The traps are... Uh, annoying but thematic so there is that but as far as feature films go this is the one I kind of like the least okay next number four in Kanyamba at the sacred groves um in Kanyamba is a very fun villain to play against sacred groves is a very good map but uh, I'm going purely on theme here, and um, yeah, this one just doesn't really uh, strike me as much as the others do. That's not to say that it's bad, just that um, I find the other feature films uh, a lot better. So that's in Kanyamba at the Sacred Groves. Next is uh, the classic, Hans. At Camp, Trappy, Camp Happy Trails. This uh, is a good feature film. Um, because there are no special rules that come with Hans. And there are no special rules that come with Camp Happy Trails. It's just you versus the villain. And I like that for ease of play and for speed. Uh, however, I have yet to beat Hans. Um... That's usually due to my luck rolls, and so that makes Hans a little bit frustrating for me. Uh, eventually, I'll probably get around to it, hopefully, but um, Hans at Camp Happy Trails. Now, you notice I'm not actually talking about which final girls come um, with which uh, set, because the final girls you get, their abilities and things when they say victims are usually tied to... The location or to the killer so you don't you can mix and match uh, which I've done quite a bit but you know you don't really have to okay number two is the poltergeist at Creech Manor I love the fact that the poltergeist is an unkillable villain I love the fact that you have a different um, win condition here. You just have to find Carolyn and uh, get her out of the house before the poltergeist kills you. Um, I love the the idea that this is based on like the poltergeist movie. You've got Carolyn is supposed to be Carol Ann uh, from the film. The map is excellent. It's a real challenge to navigate the house. Uh, it's great when you can get ladders. It's great when you can get your victims out the window to save them. Um, 
yeah, all in all, I really, really enjoy playing uh, the Poltergeist at Creech Manor. Some really good mechanics here. Of course, by now you know what my number one is, if you've followed along. My number one is Dr. Fright on Maple Lane. Why do I love this so much, apart from the obvious Freddy Krueger um, comparison here? Maple Lane is a fantastic map. The rules for going in and out of houses is really cool. You have to be invited in. Uh, you can't just go into a house if there is someone there. There is new cards uh, that change your uh, action cards, which is really cool. But the best part about this is the Dr. Fright sleep mechanic. Um, I have played this uh, on camera. I got a lot of the rules wrong, of course. Um, but the idea that you can't hurt him unless you're asleep, and at the end of each turn, you have to reveal a, a card from like the boiler room, and if you reveal Dr. Fright, he wounds you. It's just a lot of fun. Incredibly, incredibly thematic. Um, and I also love how parts of the map, uh, the exits of the map can actually get covered up. So you can no longer take victims out that way and it forces you to change your strategy. So this is my top five uh, season one in order of my least favorite to most favorite feature films. Hope you enjoyed this video. There will be more Final Girl videos coming up in the future, um, as well as some more book reviews and things like that. So, hope everyone stays safe. Uh, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.